This whole thing about uh, flipping, they call it. I know all about flipping for 30, 40 years. I've been watching flippers. Everything's wonderful, and then they get 10 years in jail, and they, they flip on whoever the next highest mm -hmm. one is, or as high as you can go. Mm -hmm. it, it almost ought to be outlawed. It's not fair. Remember, Michael Cohen only became a rat after the FBI did something which was absolutely unthinkable and unheard of until the witch hunt was illegally started, he tweeted on Sunday. This is the top law enforcement officer in our system of government calling somebody who decides to tell the government the truth a rat. That's the language of a mobster. 100%. Remember back in 2018? Former President Trump at the time, President Trump, was definitely on the lines of mobster behavior. You know what, these rats, this whole thing about working with cops to tell on criminals, how dare they? It should be ill, eagle for the law to take information in order to solve a crime. Weird how this guy's thinking works when it's him that's on the line. Well, you know what he's doing now? He's associating with other folks who speak the same way, or at least they used to before they retired. Uh, there's a picture that's surfacing of him, Donald Trump now, currently with Joey Merlino. The Philadelphia Inquirer was pointing this whole thing out. In fact, Joey Skinny Joey Merlino, seen on the right, obviously the skinny one, at his golf course at West Palm Beach, Mar-a-Lago. And they deny that they know each other, despite the fact that they're all tossing up a bunch of thumbs up and hugging it out in golf attire. I don't know that guy, he just came and hung out with me. Cuz that's what people do, especially foreign presidents who are afraid about people that are surrounding them. Cuz you know they just might come for me. So these, both these guys, this guy is a former mobster in Philadelphia. He was a leader of a violent crew on his way up to being a boss of the organized crime operation in Philadelphia and Atlanta. Atlantic City back in the 2000s, I believe, before he was finally snitched on. Maybe the reasons why he loves him some Donald Trump. This is what he said at the time when he was being snitched on. President Trump was right, they need to outlaw flippers. <laughs> he said this while he was leaving the court. <laughs> In the 2018, Merlino scored a hung jury on racketeering charges following a trial where several mob snitches testified against him. And the judge's remarks were interrupted by a spectator in the crowd who audibly muttered, it's all BS, that rat bastard. Someone else used the word rat just earlier in the same story. This guy used to be the, 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 the president of the United States. Here's a twist though, Brett, before you jump in here. They also said this guy was a part of the, the uh, stolen election that Donald Trump can't stop talking about. And he actually helped flip votes and, and uh, change things in Pennsylvania for Joe Biden. It's really weird because he likes him some Donald Trump and the lack of rats that should be running around telling on people. This is what people who are defending that whole thing had to say though. Joey's a Trumper and any allegation of fixing this is just completely fiction. Maybe they should write a movie script because this is not reality. That's what Merlino's attorney, John Longlegs Mergolo said on Fox News. Because you know what, these guys are not supposed to be telling on each other. Donald Trump's hanging out with mobsters, we don't know why. Still to this day, but then every time someone asks him, you know, he hung out with uh, with uh, the, uh, when he was with Kanye and Nick Fuentes. I don't know that guy. How many people are gonna surround Donald Trump that he doesn't know? If I walk in Mar-a-Lago, he's gonna say, "Hey, come take a picture with me." I don't know him. I think he won't. I uh, so Trump is the president for people who think that's what a rich person's like, but aren't rich themselves. And these stories covering him as a mobster are people are are basically the same thing, but for mafia. It's like I he he talks like a gangster. I doubt gangsters Crazy. talk like that. There is no way. But the person who's like the crappy network primetime TV version of that, not like the Sopranos version, talks like Trump. It's just such flattery to this guy to try to make him feel like. He's the coolest president we ever had because there is part of everyone that's like I, you know, if I was an organized crime, which I'm not going to be, but if I was, I wouldn't want a rat snitching on me. But then at the same time, you don't want crime in your neighborhood. And I love that Trump has taken the crazy position that it should be illegal to enforce the law. Organized crime, political office. Tomato, tomato, bro. Whichever one you want to get into, you have to make sure you're surrounding yourself with a bunch of loyalists that aren't rats.